last time <clears throat> I talked about waking up, time to wake up, but I didn't really go into what it means to wake up. Before I can do that, I have to, we have to agree on certain definitions of words. Uh, the world is today, no one understands each other. Not only do we speak different words in different languages, but even our meanings of what I say a word is, my next door neighbor won't understand that meaning. So let's just define <coughs> three terms. So we look at consciousness, which means you know waking up. Normally, when you say you wake up, you get out of bed in the morning and you wake, you're waking up. That's not what I mean by waking up. So let's start with sleep. Sleep is our first level of consciousness, if you like. So when you're fast asleep, you're asleep. And even in that state, you could be in a deep sleep, or you could be in a light sleep. You could be in, you could be in um, a dream state in your sleep, or nothing at all. But anyway, we'll just call that sleep, state one sleep. The next state we'll call, we'll call it waking sleep. Waking sleep, <coughs> Waking sleep is when you wake up in the morning and you open your eyes and you get out of bed and you do your normal stuff in the morning. We'll call that waking sleep. And the next stage we're going to call conscious state. Now the conscious state is when you recognize that you're here, that you're present. So when I say, I am here now, for that brief moment, I'm in, <coughs> I'm in what I call conscious state. Now there are states of consciousness way, way above that, but we won't, I'm not going to talk about those today because it just makes things confusing. So we've got sleep, we've got waking sleep, and then we've got consciousness. So these are our three basic states that we can understand. Because if you can't understand the state of consciousness, there's no point talking about states beyond that consciousness state. So you're asleep, you wake up, and you wake up into waking sleep. And then you go, ah, I remember myself. You're conscious. Okay? So those are the three states I want to talk about. <coughs> there's not much we can do about sleep. What I'm going to talk about, we don't talk about mastering sleep or anything like that. What waking sleep is, is the normal state that everybody on the planet is kind of living in. And everyone goes around, they do their jobs, they go to school, everything is done in waking sleep. People make inventions and they're in waking sleep. <coughs> but if it's possible to be clever in that state then just think what it might be if you was more conscious what could be possible. So waking sleep is then you're not asleep but you're walking around. Um, in a sense really it's a zombie state because it's a very very mechanical state there's no consciousness involved really so you're walking around doing stuff but you're just going through a routine a programming if you like just like a computer would or a robot so if I say then wake up what am I saying? I'm saying you're in a waking sleep and I say wake up it means become conscious become conscious of who you are and that I can say to you wake up and that will trigger 
you to become conscious of yourself, even for a fraction of a second. Even for a fraction. Of course I'm here. Say it to yourself. I am here now. When you say these words, you will become present for that moment. You will become conscious for that moment. So what are we really talking about here? We're talking about consciousness and unconsciousness. When you're asleep, you're unconscious. You're not aware of what's going on. And when you're awake, when you're properly awake, you're conscious. Okay. So when I say, wake up, I'm asking you to be conscious. Time to be conscious. Uh -huh. And that's basically it. Sounds very simple if you understand what I'm saying. So there's sleep, nothing you can do about sleep, leave it alone, you need your sleep. Waking sleep. First thing in the morning, the lamp goes off, you wake up, your eyes open, and you step out of bed. You are in waking sleep. It's just a term, doesn't mean anything as such, it's just a term we need to agree on. So then, you're brushing your teeth, and you remember, oh, I am here now. You remember to be conscious. You've now entered the third state. So you're now conscious. Okay. Now there's a lot more to it than that. And there's more, there's more states of consciousness we'll talk about. You know, objective consciousness and subjective consciousness. They are states we can talk about at a later stage. But first of all, you need to recognize that you're not awake. You wash the dishes. You're in a trance. Waking sleep. You drive home from work. You don't remember it. Do you know what? I got home. Oh. I don't even remember driving the car. This happens every day to everybody on the planet. People do not remember. Uh, memories associated with energy. So if you have any very strong memories of the past, they're often from either, either very happy memories or very traumatic memories. And this is because there's more energy happening at the time. So if you've had a traumatic experience, the memory can seem very real to you for that. But if I asked you what happened last Tuesday, you can't remember. And this is because there's no energy involved. You're in this waking sleep state and you have no memory. When you're conscious, you remember much more. I'm not saying you remember everything, every detail, but you will remember a lot more of what you're doing. So this is really useful. If you're studying for something, and you're studying in waking sleep, it's going to be very hard for you to learn that stuff. But if you learn when you're conscious, you will remember much more, and your understanding will be much deeper. So, that's all I think for this little video. Just a definition of the terms. Are you asleep? Are you awake in sleep? Or are you conscious? You want to check if you're conscious? Ask the question. Am I here? Am I here? So, do you want to live your life in an unconscious state? in a waking sleep state where you go through your life very mechanically or would you like to live your life in a conscious state in a state where you can remember what you did and you can enjoy it more Pussy. so I'm not saying you should be awake I'm not saying you should be conscious, but if you want to be conscious, if you recognize that you're asleep, or in waking sleep, when you're doing your basic 
basic tasks during the day, if you recognize that and you say, oh, that's not for me, I want to wake up, then just practice being conscious. I am here now. We have a little pussycat. There's a little rescue pussycat we have. You can say hi to the people on the camera. Hello, people on the camera. Hello, after. <laughs> this is Raichu. I'm, I'm told that Raichu is the evolved form of Pikachu. So, <laughs> great. So, um, good luck with your journey into consciousness. Is it time to wake up? Are you ready for waking up? Are you awake now? Till next time.